Okay, I managed to get this to work. Like before, it was laggy as hell, but I had to like configure some settings and then uh, all of a sudden it started working. So, or at least it like it freezes sometimes, but that might just be because I speed things up, you know. And it did crash a couple times before, but <laughs> you live with it, just save often. So again, we, we, we playing it like it, the other one. I made sure, I mean, I tried, I, I double checked everything. Hopefully everything goes right, you know. But I did, you know, randomize Pokemon, randomize types, randomize abilities, randomize stats. Oh, randomized shadow Pokemon. I guess it's the same thing. Randomized Pokemon. Um, no duplicates, hopefully. Or maybe like less duplicates than before. It wasn't that bad. It was like evolutions don't count. So you could get like a starter and then get like the mid, the second evolution of that starter as a shadow Pokemon. Like, sure, I'll let that one go, you know. Oh, pseudo wudo. It was. I was like, why does this look like a semi-normal move set for? Except psychic. Can pseudo wudo learn psychic, or like a TM maybe? Oh, I did say uh, fully compatible TMs and fully compatible uh, move tutor moves. So it might just help them out because sometimes they get the short end of the stick with a shitty move set. Unfortunately, so it's to help them. Also, there's like a guy in the um, thingy majig in the uh, Mount Battle. There's a guy in Mount Battle who can, who's a move relearner. Oh, this might take a while. <laughs> who's a move relearner? And the moves that they kind of—it's like the—it's supposed to be like the moves that uh they knew before, right? So I, I checked this. Like, let me. T okay, I'll tell you the truth. I tried, I started it, it like a different new game, but I think I forgot to click the, um, the what is it, the uh, no duplicate shadow, so guess what, I ended up with like <laughs> two Shedinjas and two Ledians and like two Rhydons, Rhydons, so it was not very fun, <laughs> so. I didn't get that far, I don't think. Maybe, well, okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It might have been, like, a little bit halfway. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay, this time I, this time I triple checked. I double checked. I clicked the no duplicate shadows. Oh, I also random pokey spots. So random wild Pokemon, which sucks because one of the Pokemon that got randomized was the Cyndaquil. <laughs> so I had a Cyndaquil, or a Typhlosion. Which ended up pretty poorly because the stats were bad. Actually, its moveset was really bad because it only knew normal type moves and the stats were kind of bad. <laughs> I had a good war turtle that I found. Like one of the dude, you know, like the Power Ranger guys, the six brothers at the beginning? Um. Maybe I should. I was like, oh, maybe I should read it. I mean, it was impressive the way you handled that big Pokemon with a plum. You took command of it as if you're, it was the same as your Eevee. Don't you think it's time that you consider raising other Pokemon besides your Eevee? Look, this region is like sparse on Pokemon. Was it the lore like his dad brought it back for him on like a trip? But it's on. Oh, oops. But it's only level five. Like. I don't know, maybe 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 he came back the like, year previous or whatever, like a month b before and then he died or something. Hi, have you finished training? This is the director's office. Did you want to pay a visit to Professor Crane? You don't need to be that stiffly official, Lily. But... Oh yes, I've heard that battle coach singing... Oh, I heard the battle coach singing high praise about you. I've heard that your battling skills have improved dramatically recently. That's outstanding. 
I sure don't think I'd stand much of a chance against you. I have a level 5 EV, like, er, suppose- Oh, you know what? I didn't check, actually. It could have been anything. I wish everyone wouldn't drown them with such gushing praise all the time. My son and daughter will become spoiled rotten. There's nothing to worry about. Both Talia and Jovi are wonderful kids. By the way, I don't think I've seen Jovi since lunch. Hey, I hate to bother you, but could you go find Jovi for me? I think you already know, but several research lab projects are in their critical phases in the lab. That's why your mother can't afford to take time off right this instant. So please, will you go find her? Yeah. Thank you, I'm counting on you. I don't think she could have wandered off too far, but just in case, check outside too. I'm sorry. After five long years, this project is finally on the verge of coming together. But for that to happen, we can't do without your mother's expertise. Oh yes, I left a PDA in your room. Go check it out. PDA stands for Pokemon Digital Assistant. It's a very useful electronic tool. A PDA can be used for email, among other things. I'm sure that you'll find its many features useful. It's quite easy to use. I'm sure you'll have no trouble figuring it out. Okay, what we got, what we got? <gasps> a Mareep! A Mareep with a flying fire type. Oh, it's a Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Charizard. Oh, <gasps> woo! Oh, look at the oh, look at these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stats. Wait, I'm pretty sure. I, oh no, oh no, I'm pretty sure I randomized the stats. I mean, is it just the starter having like a? I mean, look, I randomized the move set. It knows Water Spout. That's good. Damn. Okay. My Charizard disguised as a Mareep. Hey, have you seen Jovi? We're playing hide and seek, but Jovi's been gone. Maybe she's playing in your room. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The last time that fir the first Shadow Pokemon was a Tyranitar, but then I purified it, and it had like a really shitty move set. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, hopefully every hopefully everything I get turns into something good. You know. If you're reading this email, then you must have obtained the PDA. Try out as many features. By the way, Adon was playing hide and seek with Jovi. Why not chat with him? So I think I'm going to try to get up to like right before you fight, or not right before you fight, but like after you fight the um the Power Rangers, the Six Brothers. Where well, you startled with me? Oh hi, it's you. It's me, Adon. You're looking for Jovi? We're supposed to be playing hide and seek right now, but isn't she around anywhere? Well, maybe she's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's manor. It's a big, weird house southeast of here. Jovi's it in our game of hide and seek. I wish he'd find me soon. My back is starting to hurt. Hi, the lounge is noisy, so I'm going to see what the commotion is about. The TV news just came on, so maybe something big happened. Let's go see. We bring you ONBS news. Authorities still have failed to find any traces of the cargo ship SS Libra since its sudden disappearance off the, go off the coast of Gaten Port. There have been no reports of flotsam that may indicate the ship's sinking. The authorities appeared mystified by the way the ship vanished like smoke. There are reports that numerous Pokemon were on board. Concern is rising over their welfare. Wow, a cargo ship carrying Pokemon disappeared without a trace? Is that really possible? I'm finding it a little hard to swallow. Okay, here's hoping we find a starter. I, oh, you know what? Uh, adding on to like the <laughs> the duplicate shadow, there are two shadow septiles. There's a lot of duplicates in that last one, so I got <laughs> I got kind of tired of it. I was like, nope, can't have that. It wasn't bad, although the Blastoise that I got from that War Total ended up being kind of shitty, <laughs> unfortunately. Wait, who goes there? 
You must be a burglar. Chobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Chobin is the name, and Chobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kaminko. Chobin is the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. A Butterfree! You know, that's somehow fitting. <laughs> bye bye, Butterfree. Chobin lost. You've made Chobin angry now. Even though Chobin lost, you're still not going getting going past Chobin. Huh? Closer observation reveals that the subject is a child. Ergo, the subject is not a burglar. Chobin wishes you spoke up right away. Oh, you're Talia? Chobin apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. Oh, Big Brother, what are you doing here? Oh, Jovi gets it. Big Brother, you got lost, didn't you? No. Uh-uh-uh, there's no hiding stuff from Jovi because Jovi knows. This big house is Dr. Kaminko's. Dr. Kaminko's job is to make incredible inventions. There's a whole bunch of neat machines like they have at the Pokemon HQ lab. You should come in too. You are that girl's older brother? Sometimes she comes here. She wanders around everywhere. Chobin finds it hard keeping an eye on her so that she does not bother the doctor. Oh yes, will you have a look at Dr. Kaminko's and- Oh! Yeah, you will have a look at Dr. Kaminko's inventions. You will, yes? Okay, this way, please. Follow Chobin. Okay, Chobin will now show you the inventions of inestimable Dr. Kaminko. Dr. Kaminko's inventions, it needs to be said, are number one in the world. Chobin is full of admiration. Oh, why does Chobin know that they are number one worldwide? That needs explaining? In the whole wide world, no one but Dr. Kaminka would invent such inventions. Therefore, they are number one in the world, without question. Our Dr. Kaminka, who is verily great, is inventing in that room there. Hi, Doctor. What kind of funny machine are you making this time? Jovi wants to know. Uh-oh, that girl is at Dr. Kaminko's side again. Chobin hopes she is, she is causing no disturbance. Anyway, let Chobin acquaint you with just some of Dr. Kamiko's greatest inventions. Let the VCR roll! Dr. Kamiko's inventions are number one in the world. Chobin's choice is this. The unhealthy sandals. The insole is studded with lumpy nubs that fail to stimulate every pressure point in a fabulous way. Keep wearing these and Chobin will guarantee painful feet and chronic worsening of your health. Chobin thinks it's superlative. Incredible, is it not? There is much more than that, too. The doctor's inventions, which are fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Chobin gives you permission to use this anytime you like. Hey, yo, let's go home. I want to see what the first shadow Pokemon is. Hi, big brother. This is a funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a really weird machine. Huh? Are you going home already? But you just got here. Oh, Jovi gets it. Jovi has to show you how to go home, right? Okay, that's what Jovi will do. Jovi will take you home. Mimi, let's go home. So are the plusle and mine in both hers? Because there's a plusle in the room. Maybe they're maybe they're both hers. Ha! She gets two. <laughs> Jovi will visit again, Doctor. Bye-bye. I mean, I guess if we run into an evolution, we can, like... Because you know, the guy who gives you the one stone at the beginning, he, they kind of show you what they know, so you can kind of get a sneak peek at all the evolutions. If we run into one, I'll just forget. <laughs> You appear to have traveled far in your search for Jovi. Please come back to the HQ lab as soon as you find her. I need your help with something. Like, if this is considered far, she had no vehicle. 
What is it? What is it? Email from the professor. He wants you to come home quickly. Jovi is worried about you letting you go by yourself. Or, yeah, letting you go by yourself. So Jovi will go home too. Let's go. Like, did she, did she walk all the way here? Like, we have to take a bike. I mean, I don't think it's too far, but they said it was far. Oh, it, yeah, that actually is kind of far, maybe. <laughs> Unless everything's so, like, scrunched together. Like, damn, girl. <laughs> you walk far by yourself. I'm just gonna assume, since this is, like, a H, like a Pokemon scientist, like, inventing shit. She has, like, a collapsible scooter of her own or something. <laughs> oh, hi, we're back. Oh, haven't I told you not to wander away by yourself? No, you don't understand. Big Brother was lost, so Jovi brought him here. If Jovi weren't there, Jovi bet he'd be crying by now, saying he can't get home. Right? Oh my my, you're such a brave and resourceful girl. But that's quite enough for today. Besides, Adon must be getting tired of waiting for you. Oh my gosh, I was in the middle of hide and seek. Okay, Big Bro, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Thanks for finding Jovi for me. Oh yes, Professor Crane wanted to see you. Go see him right away, please. Okie dokie. But how come, how come, I just realized this now. How come our character, like the main character and the sister don't look anything like the mom? Like, you can kind of argue that maybe the guy looks more like the dad but like i mean maybe she dyed her hair you know maybe maybe she had blue hair and she had to dye she dyed it brown you know oh yeah i have to find him don't i like anime logic <laughs> oh hey welcome back were you gone far away the director, he went downstairs a little while ago, Professor Crane did. You didn't bump into him? Okay, let's see what this Pokemon is. Let's see. I want to see. Wait, let's save first. Hi there, I've been waiting for you. I wanted to show you the snag machine. Has Aiden said anything to you about the snag machine? No. The snag machine is a special device for snagging Pokemon. The two of us, Aiden and I, were developing it, and now it's finally finished. I'd like to begin testing it immediately. Will you help us? Sure. Okay, step inside, please. I should tell you, the snag machine is an outrageous piece of work. After all, it's used for stealing Pokemon from another trainer in battle. But we didn't make this to steal Pokemon indiscriminately from trainers. You've heard of Shadow Pokemon, haven't you? They're Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines after having their hearts closed by artificial means. They're to be pitied. We developed the snag machine to take back such modified Shadow Pokemon. Why this machine is needed now, I can explain later. But for now, I'd like you to test our snag machine. After all, you're the best trainer at this lab. The snag machine is inside this case. Try equipping it right away, please. Wow, it fits you perfectly. Looks cool, too. I'll also add a feature to your PDA. It's called the Shadow Monitor. It lets you check data on the Shadow Pokemon you've encountered. Thank you, Aiden. That's it. That's spot on. From here on, it will be a lot easier to just show you how it works in practice rather than trying to describe it. Let's go upstairs to, to the Battle Sim System room. Oh, whoops, how silly of me. I almost forgot to give you these. In order to use the snag machine, you need at least one Pokeball, so I'll give you these. Pokeballs aren't used in the ore region, so we import them from another region. Okay, now we're set. Let's hurry over to the director. Well, what's going on? Who are you people? It's terrible. Some strange men came barging in and took off with the director. Her. 
Will you let go of me? Where do you think you're taking me? I'm taking you to your new lab, Professor. What? My new lab? Move it. We don't have any time. If you don't get if you don't want to get hurt, hustle yourself into the car. You people, what are you? Hello? Okay, give me your shadow Pokemon. What is it, punk? You're going to play hero and try to stop us? I don't show mer I don't show mercy to anyone, not even kids. Alright, something good. Bust the legendary out. I dare you. A whooper! Hey. What is that? The aura reader is responding. That's a shadow Pokemon. Hey, hurry. Throw a ball at it. That my shadow Pokemon was that was it a snag? Kid, what is that machine on your arm? Could it be a snag machine? What the heck is that doing here? That's big news. Come on, move. I need to report this to headquarters like now. They took the professor away. Don't cry, Jovi. I'm sure Professor Crane will be okay. We've contacted the police and the proper authorities about Professor Crane. They should let us know if they discover anything. I still can't believe that this is happening. Professor Crane predicted that someone will again try making shadow Pokemon. His prediction was on the mark. The Teddy Ursa you snag probably isn't the only shadow Pokemon that was made. When the Purified Chamber is completed, we will be able to save many shadow Pokemon at the same time, but... Professor Crane is crucial to this project. Without him, there's nothing we can do. Let's complete it. We'll finish the Purified Chamber ourselves. Lily? The director's not here. It's hopeless. There isn't any possible way to get it done. You're on the verge of finishing. This isn't the time to feel sorry for yourself. The Purify Chamber project got this far not just because Professor Crane was here. We got here because we all worked as a team. Having come this far, it would be wrong to stop now. Our pride as scientists is on the line. Let's finish the project as one. Things will get very busy around here. I'll go upstairs and check how the data processing is progressing. Okay, I know there's at least two other shadow Pokemon in the um, port area, so we'll get those. I got semi-lucky in the first one, that the, for the, the dude that was there, he had a fucking Moltres. And an Articuno. I wanted the Articuno, but no. RNG determined it was the Moltres. This basic data should be fine now, keep going with it. Hey, you came at the right time. May I get you to run an errand for me at, to in Gate and Port? We ordered a special machine part for the Purify Chamber from the parts shop. Gate and Port is due south from here. It's not far, but be careful. Joby knows the parts shop. It's next door to Emily's house. Hey, can I go? Joby wants to help everyone. Joby, I appreciate your offer. I know you want to help, but it's an important component. Okay. Joby, you're a member of the lab staff, too. You may go if you take Talia with you. Would you mind going with Jovi? Okay, big brother is Jovi's assistant. You have to listen to Jovi, big bro. Off we go. Hey, be very careful, please. I'm counting on you. 
Oh yeah, let's check out this uh, whooper. Oh, it has an item. Hey, a premiere ball. <laughs> oh, I did say like randomized hold items, so they might all be holding something. Speed boost. Speed boost. Oh. No, it's not gonna do that much damage, but bro, it got speed boost. Hey, where are you two off to? Jovi's on an important trip to Gate and Port. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. Huh? He's your assistant? And you must be confident with such a good assistant. Anyway, could we ask you to hold on to that snag machine and use it? There may be other shadow Pokemon out there. If you spot one, rescue it from the criminals. I'll make approaches to the authorities and other people to have Pokeballs available for sale at shops. There's more. I wanted to give you- I'll give these to you. Okay, we're not gonna read them. We're not gonna read them. They're documents on shadow Pokemon that Professor Crane and I compiled. Please read them. Wow, big brother, look! It's the sea! Listen, listen, the parts shop is over there. Hurry! This way. Ouchies, Joby fell down. Hey now, where do you think you're going? Oh sorry, Jovi is sorry, it wasn't on purpose. And look what you've done. You've messed up the happening look of Zook, the coolest, baddest, and most happening guy around. Sorry, it doesn't begin to cut it. Huh? You there, yeah, you punk. You're with this munchkin, aren't you? And it looks to me like you're a trainer. You look like you'll be a million times more fun than some munchkin. I'll stomp you flat with my shadow Pokemon. That's quite enough of that. Pokemon aren't meant to be used in such a manner. Choose your place and time. Shut it! Hey, meddling senior citizen, take your preaching to someone who cares. Or do you want me to pound you too? Mr. Verich, perhaps I should? Huh? And who do you think you are? So now you're going to play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. Alright, I'm curious. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. A Flygon! Oh, bitch! Shadow Flygon! Cyclosion! Oh, snap. Alright, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we might be here a while. <laughs> You got any other moves in there? I guess not. Maybe the AI is like, no, this is the only good move we have against it. Ooh! Your power, where does it come from? You've done it now. Don't think you're getting away with messing with the great Zook. Remember this. Should I give chase? No, no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yes, sir. Let us be on our way. Uh, thank you. That hardly deserves such gratitude, my little lady. We did only what need what had to be done, nothing more. I like how they zoom in, being like, look how evil this guy might be. <laughs> Eventually. He even has like the kind of creepy theme song or like yeah, theme song or what is it, motif or what, what theme? <laughs> the theme song makes me think of a Saturday morning cartoon. Is that you, Jovi? Oh, Emily and Acri.
So it was you, Joby, being harassed by that big strange man? Were you okay? Yep, strong people helped us. Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Joby came here on an important visit. Big Brother's Joby's assistant today. Oh, you must be Joby's brother. I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emily. Hi, Joby's big brother. Joby has been a very nice friend of my daughter, Emily. That elderly gentleman's name is Mr. Varage. He comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be fabulously wealthy. Rumors like that give me shivers. I'm hoping to become a novelist. Whenever I come across anything mysterious, I try to imagine a story around it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are lots of rough customers about. Emily, we should be going. Okay, bye-bye, Joby. Yep, see you, Emily. Hi, did you want something here? The shopkeeper's out right now. He said something about having to go out to Dr. Kamin- What was it now? To that doctor's manor is where he went. He said his grandson, Purr, will be back from repairing the rotating bridges, so I'm supposed to mind the shop until then. But I don't know where anything is, or how to ring up a sale, or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter, though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored, really. If you'd like, how about you help me a while, while some time away? I've got a tale to tell you may find interesting. When I was younger, I sailed all the world's seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, and this huge world is filled with an incredible profusion of Pokemon. Of all the Pokemon in our world, the one that I found the most interesting is Eevee. Now, Eevee is a unique Pokemon. It can evolve into five different kinds of Pokemon, you see. While I sailed, I studied Eevee quite exhaustively. As a result, I obtained five items that are keys to Eevee's evolution. Oh, you were raising an Eevee, but you've set it free? That's a heartbreaking thing to do. Still, I need to thank you for hearing my tale. I'll give you one of the five items that an Eevee needs for evolution. Who knows? It may come in handy one day. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead and choose one. Okay. Oh no, Vaporeon's shitty this time around. Okay, a Jolteon could work. Oh, it's already an electric type. <gasps> okay, you'll pray for an Umbreon. Umbreon and Espeon are the good ones. Oh, and I guess, I guess Jolteon. What should we take? Let's take Firestone. That Firestone will make an Eevee evolve into the Pokemon Flareon. It's easy to make your Eevee evolve with that Firestone. All you have to do is use it. Would you like to have it? Yes. Fine, you can have the Firestone. I'm sure it'll come in handy one day. Like, what if someone up here has a Growlithe or something? I would have to check, like, the move set and when it learns certain things, though. Because I would- I mean, are we, I guess- or, <laughs> I'm talking as if it's like a normal. I just remembered I randomized everything, so it's gonna be different. I was hoping for like a flamethrower. <laughs> flamethrower, crunch, arcanine. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. Unless the arcanine is shitty. <laughs> like the other one that was in Coliseum. Huh, that settles that. All fixed. You want to talk to me? Yeah, the parts shop is ours. Huh? You can't- you need a machine part. Where's Grandpa? He's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's. Oh, when my Grandpa gets excited over some mechanical thing, he's off like a shot. Never mind the shop or his grandson, me. I'll find that machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? Man, Grandpa should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. Okay, let's see what this guy has. I'll save before I fight him. Alright, what you got, sir? What you got? Something good. Something. The Ty Ty Larvitar. Type Dragon Dragonair! Dragonair! Dragonair, please! Dragonair, please! <laughs> a Dragonair! It's not a Dratini, but I will take it. It still needs to get to, like, level 50. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Play, play. Yeah! Yeah! Uh-oh! Oh, please don't burn. Okay, thank god. <laughs> well, maybe we should, like, switch. Let's see.
I forgot what he had, but he he originally had a Letty Bug. I think I think the thing about their Shadow Pokemon is that they take the catch rate of whatever they're supposed to be. So like that's why that damn Pidgey and Colosseum did not want to get in this damn wall. <laughs> it, was a, it was supposed to be either a Metagross or a Tyranitar. I forgot which one it was supposed to be. It's a grass type. <gasps> With pressure. Hmm. Oh, look at the stats. Look at these. They're actually not too- I'm just looking for no single digit stats. Like, that's all you can pray for, <laughs> really. A TM23. Which one is this one? Oh, <gasps> Iron Tail. Hmm. We'll keep this. Like, heck, maybe we won't use them until, like, something fully evolved. Because you know how, like, they constantly be changing the movesets, so... And the stats. Like, what if, what if I use it, and then when it evolves, it turns into something that's, like, low physical attack, you know? And I just wasted it, so I'll just... W I'll wait until, like, the end. Maybe, like, as we hoard all the TMs, you know, something... We'll find... We'll figure something out. Okay, TM12. Which one is this one? Taunt. Okay. <laughs> okay, something. Anything. I'll even take... I don't know. Mr. Mime. I'll take a Mr. Mime. I'll let... <laughs> These damn Ledeons are like... Claydol! Claydol can be useful. I mean, heck, wasn't there already like a Shadow Ball, ball toy in this game? Alright, let's see what it is. Hopefully- Oh, you know what happened though? The Ledeon before- Oh, it's Claydol. Okay, but the Ledeon before got stuck with Truant. <laughs> so, it was kind of shitty. That works too. Oh, that works too. Okay, I'm gonna uh, lob the ball at it. Look, like, even if we get knocked out, I think we keep it, right? <laughs> Yeah! You know what? I would appreciate more babies. Like, heck, if that guy had a Dratini, that would have been perfect. But no, it's a Dragonair. Whatever, we have to live with it. Hopefully it has a good boost set. The stats are pretty good, so... Claydol. Okay, what you got? Ground water, so it's a whisk cash. With mystic water. Wow. If only in if only it knows <gasps> it has pure power. Like no fucking wonder that did so much damage. Hey, hey yo, maybe we might actually use this thing. We might actually use it. Even though the special attack is high, but a pure power though. And it's not gonna evolve anymore. You know what? We lucked out. We lucked out. What's like a- well, Aqua Jet doesn't exist yet. What's like a physical water move? Does- does it even have any physical water moves? Oh, I mean, Waterfall. <laughs> waterfall is a- Waterfall Dive. Well, I mean, I guess we'll keep the item on it. Ooh, okay, we got some good ones, finally. 